There's something about this place. Every time we play them, it's like this. They are always like this in this arena. Coach, we got to start down the stretch. I mean, without faith, the two guards that had to step up, Michaela and Bree, yeah. making the free throws to get this win. Yeah, you know, we didn't play our best basketball, but coming down the stretch, I saw, fought, felt like the last four minutes we were, I mean, this one over here was just trying to get us any bucket she could. And then I think Bree settled down and really attacked the rim and was really poised at the free throw line. I thought we rebounded finally at the very end here the way we needed to, and we, we defended well down the stretch. So um, it's always a battle when you come down here. That's the thing. I mean, it, it's a 40-minute game, and, and for a lot of it, a lot of sloppiness for both teams. But... In the end, the final couple of minutes, that's when it mattered most. You yeah. kept it close the whole game and found a way to pull it out. We couldn't score. Yeah. I mean, we couldn't score, but again, it went back to, you know, they're at the end of the floor. I thought it, it really important, crucial pos possessions. We really defended, and we came down in those last couple of possessions that Michaela took over and got to the free throw line, and um, and then Bree just being poised at the free throw line. I think that made a huge difference. Coach, you go to the last three minutes of the quarter, you haven't scored, and then you get 10 points those last quarter, and you're like, your guards just took over, made some great plays, and just got to the foul line. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what it was about. At that at that point, um, I thought we were just rattled. Like, we weren't comfortable shooting the ball, and we we were just very um, tentative, and anytime in a zone, if you're not really just playing loose and attacking and kicking, I just, I don't know why, and then, um, Again, it came down to a couple possessions. Well, Coach, in, in all honesty, the flow of the game, one never really developed for either team. 25 fouls in the first half and a, a combined 46 at the end of the game. Really, there, there wasn't much of a flow, so you kind of didn't really have a choice but to figure it out at the end of the game. But I guess it, it, we could talk about the first half a little bit, just what was going on really for both teams that neither side really looked comfortable. I, you know, I don't know what it is for them, but for us, I just think, um, you know, you know what bring, faith brings to the table, and just I think we got hurt defensively, you know, and we got in a lot of foul trouble. We had no rhythm. We were just shuffling people in and out to, you know, hope to get a spark, and I thought the rebounding really hurt us. Um, defensively, we got hurt, and we always had to come down and call a set. We didn't have any flow on offense because I felt like we had to walk the ball down on most possessions and call something, which is not always our strength. Emotionally, we talked about after the Notre Dame game, maybe going away from home could be the best thing for this team, and to get a win like this with the emotions riding so high, do you feel like this is potentially what the team needed to get coming back from that Notre Dame game? You know, I'll take a win however it comes. So I don't, I'm not going to overanalyze the W. I'll just take it. Coach, certainly uh, you you went with Bree up at the at the point, and you were trying to run Vincent yep. and other players off there. Was that a was that a, just a decision that you felt like that Vincent was a good enough player using the screens to get her attacking the basket from the wings? Yeah, I didn't want to. You know, we were turning the ball over against the zone, so I didn't want to be passing around without Michaela getting a look, and so. We just kind of shallow cut her and kind of tried to give like a surprise ball screen and then her either let her take that shot or what I thought she did a really good job is just attacking inside. You know, and down the stretch, it got really physical and I was like, they're going to have to call whatever. If there's a touch foul, they're going to call it. So she was really smart, kind of put herself in a situation to get fouled and obviously made, made her free throws. Last thing for you, and yeah, we, it feels bad not let you enjoy this one as, as wild as it was down the stretch, but got to go home to face a very good Louisville team. And it's one of those games we've talked about. The teams we're getting at home this year. It seems like one of those games, very important when yeah. you start to look at the, the entirety of the ACC schedule. Yeah, when you talk about building your resume and you got Louisville at home, you know, what better way to, to uh, uh, build that resume than to take care of business at home against a team like that. Well, Coach, thanks for the time. Congratulations. Thank you. You seem to shine your brightest when the opposition comes from Wake Forest. Yes, uh, they're a great team, a uh, gritty team, get a lot of, get on the boards very well, aggressive, and we just came at them at the end, um, fourth quarter, show what we are made of, um, had that killer mentality at the end. The last two, two and a half minutes or so, that's exactly what it was. Because the fourth quarter, I think it was the first, it took, what, six and a half minutes to get the first field goal? Yes. I mean, it, the fourth quarter, it seemed everything out of sorts. What changed the final two and a half minutes? Like I said, our mentality, we got big boards at the end, big stops, um, created fouls, got to the rim, um, and just attacked them. And, and I said, I told them, we do this every day in practice. It's nothing different. So we just went at them. That's it biggest thing you felt on the floor without Faith Randolph today? Because obviously a player that impacts both yes. ends of the floor, and so the first game having to figure it out 
Where did you sense it most, maybe? Uh, scoring, definitely, and that defensive intensity. Uh, Faith is a great player on offense and defense. It brings a lot of energy to us, and she brought some great energy all on the bench today, and so did our other players. And, um, we just played with pride today. It seemed like you got into a little bit of rhythm on the defensive end right near midcourt when y'all yes. went into that half-court, sort of full-court trap. Mm -hmm. You got a couple steals, and then there was the play where we thought it might be an intentional foul. Ends up they say you're in the act of shooting, you yes. hit your foul shots. Definitely. Um, I saw that I had the opportunity to go steal it, so I was like, why not? And Kate down and um, knew that I could take her and tried to create a foul but um, I think our intensity picked up definitely on defense in the last three to four minutes. Um, I think we did a great job. Um, we attacked them like I said and defensively we just stopped them definitely. Very simply, how would you describe your emotions right now? <sighs> Pride and, and excitement, and I'm so proud of my teammates. And I know we can continue to do that and bring that energy. And we just got to keep attacking and keep playing Virginia basketball. Well, going home on Thursday, it's a Louisville team that yeah. it's kind of like that Miami game. You know, yes. you look at the ACC schedule. Very good teams, but you're getting them at home this season. Yes. How important would you say that Louisville game is on Thursday night? Very important. It's going to show where we're at. Um, our mindsets have to be ready to go out there and do what we need to do. Um, like I said, play Virginia basketball and defend definitely because they are a good offensive team and just bring the intensity and and know that we we can beat them and we'll have that sixth man out there with the crowd so i think we'll be ready to go michaela congratulations thanks for the time thank you